First aid kit to Ludens Echo 2 and a Battle Mage 2, guys. Hmm. I'll take a Battle Mage, actually. Let's take a Battle Mage. We have a bunch of GPs, as you can see. Uh, what else do we have? We have Underground. A little bit. Let's just play her as a good frontliner. And we call it a day, right? We just hold everything. We just hold the supers. We'll see what happens this game. I started with a bunch of gold. But not um, in exchange. Do you think Duelist 2 is even good compared to 2 Brawler? I think 2 Brawler with the Battle Mage buff is better. Um, with the Battle Mage armor. We'll see. We might just go Gangplank here. Gangplank carry. <laughs> I just tried it twice. I went 7th and 6th. So surely this game I go 5th, right? Which is not bad. We'll take it, man. Ludens is super good with Zoe. Yeah, but I don't. I just sold my LeBlanc and my Velkos. And I also uh, have only one tier, so... Too risky to go Zoe here. I know Ludens is broken with Zoe. But Battle Mage is good for the early game here. GP carry is so bad. GP carry is not that bad, man. It's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Even without his augment, it's not that terrible. Because you just go him as a secondary carry. Like, if you get him for free. Again, last game. Again, again guys. Like, you can... You can you can just think I'm wrong. Don't really care. I don't really care, you know. But um, the game was really good for GP carry. But uh, me having, like, 7 GPs. Uh, during... Not even rolling. And then just finding the two last GPs after like 80 or 90 gold at level 5 is unacceptable, right? That's just very bad RNG, so... Uh, you know. Usually, in this in this kind of position where you have 5 GPs, you just take it, man. Because you don't actually go GP carry. You put the items on GP so he can win streak in stage 3 for you. And he generates a lot of money. And then with the next items, you choose your next carry. And you just go that other carry. And then you have like dual carry GP and something else. And then it's really good. Then it's actually really good. No cap. No kappa, no kipo, no kapapa. Alright, let's do this. I need to think what I go here for. I think I go for an Ionic Spark. Ionic Spark is really good. And then we probably just go Yumi carry or something. We can just go Ionic Spark, Yumi, Blue Buff, stuff like that, right? Something like that. Battle Mage. Maybe something good with Battle Mage. I can also go Underground. I can actually go Underground. Battle Mage, Sona Carry. Maybe we can do that. I watched a video by Keen earlier. He um, played underground with supers and with a Sona. And he didn't even hit Sona 3. He didn't even have a hero augment. He just played Sona. With blue buff and jewel gauntlet, giant slayer. With everything else, 3 star. Didn't even 3 star the Sona. Uh, 3 star the vibe with hero augment. And he, he smurfed it, man. He smurfed it hard. There's a Sona, but not with a tier. I mean, I just pick up the Suna anyway, no? I get Underground and I get Ionic Spark. I sell it, get, put the Ionic Spark on GP. Actually good. Let's go. I'm so happy. 2-1, triple 2 cost hero augment and no one got Yumi carry augment. That is good. They will still go Yumi carry. If they have Lee Sin support, stuff like that, they'll still go Yumi carry. You know it. You know it, man. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy the game, man. Great, look at this. This is actually really good. Is there any item that she can go for? With a cloak? A chalice? And we go uh, Ezreal carry? Oh, we have an Ezreal as well? All of a sudden? I want to put Ionic Spark. It's just such a nice spike. Not too bad. We have Underground. 
The thing is, Sona is better than Ezreal. From what I've seen, without hero augment, Ezreal is uh, really... Like, a lot of his power is in his carry hero augment. If I get it, I'm chilling. I'm going for it. But if I don't get it, I'm not chilling. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it, guys. 74 health is pretty bad here. Nice. Look, I have 6 GPs. There's no way this is not a GP carry game. Or like a GP, you put an Ionic Spark on him, you put a BT on him, and then you peace out. You itemize your other carry, uh, because then you're about to 3-star the other carry, and then the GP just win streaks. <laughs> Underground supers here. Again, man, I just have a bunch of GPs. I don't know what to tell you. This guy's going Yumi carry, but he has not a single GP. If I hit 3-star GP before he hits any... Uh, gangplanks, like, he's never gonna 3-star the Gangplank, and he's gonna be missing 5% damage, which is oftentimes very needed for the Yumi to do well. So this is really good. Suna is much better than Ezreal, man. But Ezreal, you can easily 3-star him. Whereas Suna is harder to 3-star, but if you get it, it's a huge payoff. 4 unit loss is rough. 6, six out of 10, 66 health. Going into Krogs, very rough. Very rough spot to be in, but we have a lot, of, a lot of money. So that's not bad. We just make this. Do I lose this fight? I mean, I'm not gonna level. I can't level. If I level here, it's a rip. Have you tried that Draven comp again? No, but I watched Raidits. What I played yesterday and uh, it looks really bad. He's playing it for fun though, and he's playing it very well. He's a very good player. Easy challenger, you know. Very good player. And it seems awful. <laughs> he went 8th, 7th, and then I stopped watching. Because I went to sleep. Not because I didn't want to. He's always fun to watch, but yeah. Uh, Redemption? Redemption? Probably not. Giant Slayer? Warmogs, Giant Slayer, Blue Buff. That's huge. This is how it should have gone last game. Again, I'm telling you guys. This is how it should exactly go last game. Because this is to be expected if you have so many of them already. It was a little bit lucky, but at 30 gold, I should have a GP3. At 30 gold, usually. But last game, I rolled to 10, no GP3. With I, I, had, I had 6 GPs this time, last game I had 7. That is just not acceptable, right? So this game is going really well. This game, I'm feeling really good about this game. I have Underground active, which means Ezreal Augment maybe. Undercurrent, I reroll here, I get the carry Augment, or what? Power Grid. GG, guys. Yes, man, let's go. That's big. That's actually so big. I, I, don't, I don't pick her up yet. I want a 3 star. Again, I saw this from Keen. Really fun comp. A really fun comp, guys. We three-star Kale as well, just for the supers damage and for the duelist with him. So we kick this guy for uh, uh, Sona eventually. And I, I feel a lot better about frontlining Sona or secondlining Sona with Battle Mage because she has healing inbuilt, whereas this Ezreal is very exposed. Unless he has recon, and I'm not gonna have recon. So, uh, yeah. And you just, what you do is, you'll see it. You'll see it, it's very interesting. This is what the Chinese players do with Underground. This is what they do, man, when they play this. This is actually a comp that people play. It's not just Keen that made it up. Although I never saw it with Sona. I always see it with Ezreal carry augment. Basically, if you have the Ezreal carry augment, you do exactly this with Ezreal. But Keen had it with Sona. The reason why it makes more sense with Ezreal is because he's a 2 cost, so you can 2 cost, uh, you can 3 star. You can 3 star the Ezreal while you're also 3 starring Lee Sin and Malphite, right? So 
it's just easier to three star everything. But the Sona is a lot better, so I really enjoyed that video. And look what you do. You just always cut and run. You never continue heist. You always cut and run, and you take the money that you're getting here to just have more money to roll with. And then you can hit these uh, three stars early. And then you don't lose as much health. You know? And you three star the Vi, of course, as well. He did it with a Vi carry augment. Which is a lot of fun, too. He's gonna have a blue buff. And again, power grid Sona. Gain 30 ability power, and her ability fires one additional beam. So one additional, you know, heal, one additional damage dealing, one additional stun. Super good. We just need blue buff now. Super good comp. So in this comp, you're playing underground until end of game. Exactly. That's why you always accept it. You always just keep accepting it. Just to have a gold injection every single time. And you will get some item components, which can be good, right? Because item components are very flexible. If you decline here, I have a lot less money, right? I probably lose this round because I wouldn't be able to roll that much to find a Sona. Um, yeah. You, you just prioritize your health. Second pick, let's pray we get our item. We really need one specific item here. I'm sure you guys know what it is. See if we can get it. Ah, it's big. We get the blue buff. Let's go. Most important item, especially with her shooting three beams. Yeah, it's super fun. Super fun. Uh, what's up, Soraka? Okay, so, again, you just always accept. That's what the Chinese players do with the Ezreal. They never play this Sona thing. I, I have never seen it. Pr they probably do, right? If Keen does it. I'm not saying Keen copies. I'm saying uh, if, you know, great minds think alike. Big. Really huge, guys. And the Vi 3 is... The Vi 3 is such a stupendously tanky unit, man. Seems a little bit OP. Um, again, Keen in his video had the hero augment. Which is, of course, insane. Gives her, like, a... Radiant Titans built in her kit, basically. So you have, basically, a 4-item Vi. But even without, without anything, just that 3 star Vi is so stupidly tanky, man. And then you can easily go, um, you can easily just put some Aegis at level 7, and you're chilling. And you have Heart, right? The reason why this is even better than with Ezreal is because you have Heart with the Lee Sin. So you, it's so good, man. I, I might spam this comp. If this works well, I might just spam this comp. <laughs> this is the most fun ever. And then of course, if you're not contested, you're chilling. If you're not contested, it's disgusting. And it seems like no one's playing the dirty Yumi comp this game, are they? There is one. I need supers. He doesn't have any supers so far. Like, look, he has one, one, one. He's fricked, man. I'm at, I'm at like five Malphites, four Lee Sins, nine Gangplanks. Six Kales. You need the Kale 3 just for the 5% bonus damage. What do you play level 7? Aegis. Aegis, man. You need in this comp carry Eds or Sona Augment, yeah? Um, no. If you have the carry Ezreal Augment, you play carry Ezreal instead of the Sona. If you don't have any Augment, but you just found a lot of good stuff that makes sense to play this comp, like I did here. Even if I didn't have the Sona Augment, I would play Sona Carry. Sona Carry is completely fine. Without augment. It's okay. Again, guys, it's a super reroll comp. You're not gonna always get first. That is uh, unreasonable to expect. So even if you don't get first, it's nice. You get top four, it's really good. And you just go Jewel Gauntlet, the Giant Slayer, whatever. Just damage items, right? She heals, but it doesn't matter. Just go damage items. Look how much damage she deals, man. One star. A bad item. Titans. Titans Redemption, I think. It's actually Titans Redemption now. Okay. 
Those were pretty bad, but they're okay. I'm gonna dig a little bit here. Okay. We hit uh, KL3 next turn, and then we can level and play our supers so we can start win streaking. Double three star supers, lots of damage. I'm still not gonna pick up the Sona, I'm gonna just hit two star Sona. And then I just leave this on the ground until I need it for three star Sona. A last Sona is that. Again, raises the chances. This guy's getting shreked, even though I have a one star Sona. Very big. Let's go. How are the games going today? What's up, uh, 17? What's up, man? Any tubers? Yeah. Two tubers, I think. Two? Yeah, two. Super Sona Woke. Yeah, this is Keen Platus, Yuna. Keen Platus. In one of his videos. Um, it's just uplink, no? Uplink is pretty good for him, for her, for her. Uplink is pretty good. Everything else is bad. I get a Vi, though. Getting a Vi and playing 4 Brawler next. Playing 4 Brawler. Getting a Vi and playing 4 Brawler. Hmm. Is it, is it uplink or is it getting a Vi and playing 4 Brawler? What do you think, guys? Nah, but it's too late for 4 Brawler. Like, it's level 7 4 Brawler. It takes too long to get there. Nice. I had to sell a lease in. Unfortunate. That's okay. Can you try Super's Frozen Tundra, Lamau? Sure, man. What's up, uh, Kobilao? What's up, man? I was just watching your Zoe Comp video. It's sick, right? Look how strong we are now. And we have so many synergies. And then level 7 you put Aegis. And then level 8 you can put... I don't know. Like level 7 you put Alistair for Aegis. Level 8 you put any for Spellslinger and Oxforce, for example. You have so much st um, you have so much uh, flexibility. Oh, I think this is a win. Nice. Overtime damage. Too good. Even Vi is doing... Yeah, Vi is super strong. Nice, look at this. And then you always cut and run. Again. You just take the gold injection every single time. But make sure you don't touch that orb. Always take the gold injection. How is the Yumi guy doing? He's so far away from his three stars. Just gonna wait until he dies. Where's the Zed? The Zed is not jumping at me. We're fine. What's the BIS for Sona here? So since I have this augment, which gives me ability power, it's better to not go Rabadons. It's better to go uh, Giant Slayer and uh, Jewel Gauntlet. But Rabadons would make, make you heal more, so it's fine, right? Uh, Giant Slayer, Rabadons, Giant Slayer, Jewel Gauntlet, Jewel Gauntlet, Rabadons. Everything is fine. I'm gonna go for a Giant Slayer because I have a sword here. And I have a bow here. And you can't really build anything out of it. Yeah. GS is pretty good on Sona. It boosts her healing as well. Why? Well, how does that make sense? Why does healing... Huh? It boosts her healing? They changed it? Holy, that's the best item then. Oh, it gives AP? It gives AP instead of uh, bonus damage? Wait, I need to read that item. When did they change that, man? Grant ability power. Abilities and attacks deal 30% more damage. No, 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 no. It's not that good, man. I, I know it gives AP, guys. I know it gives a little bit of AP, but I thought... I thought you were saying that 30% more damage to enemies would translate to more healing as well. Nonetheless, you still go Giant Slayer here, but it's not... It's not... Okay, I, I just roll here. I just roll here. Despair. One off despair, guys. Thirty gold down the, down the drain. 
Oh, nah, that's too busted. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I thought, right? Because that, I thought they would uh, convert, like, any, any number on your skill is increased by 30%, you know? Like, the damage is increased, the healing is increased on units that have high health. Um, if you're healing some, if you're healing this guy now and he has more, more, more than 1.9k health, or is it 1.6k now? 1.6k, yeah. I thought, I mean, if you're saying it like that, I, 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 I mean, I, I mean, I know it has AP, right? <laughs> it's not too, I thought you wouldn't give me that information because it's like, it's a given, it's trivial. It's quite trivial indeed, you know, nerd emoji. What's the last item on Sona? Jewel Gauntlet? Yep, basically. Watch a YouTube video said, if it's wiped from my memory, then it's probably bad. And that reminded me of my childhood. Thank you. No worries, man. Hey, no worries, man. Look how much we're win streaking. It's actually really good. I should have rolled here. Mind you should pick the blue item. Exclamation mark orb. It's the it's a orb with Sona in in it. Now if the so if the orb was inside of Sona, I would like to be the orb. What? What happened? Anyway, guys. Yeah, I'm very glad I took Uplink. Uplink is not that big of a deal. But at the end of the day, it made me stronger immediately. And definitely helped in some of these wins in the win streak. Whereas the Brawler Heart would be pretty dank. Level 7, I just play a Sijuani. I would have 4 Brawler. But uh, it's it's like too it's too much in the future. Because I'm, I'm first 3-starring this... And then I'm 3-starring this, and then at that point I'm probably close to this as well, so I 3-star this as well, and then yeah. Whereas uh, now I just have this flexibility of going level 7, and just putting an Aegis, and we're done with it, you know, we're happy with it. I like this variation of supers with Underground, I love it as well, it's my favorite supers variation, man, this is so fun. Keen has some good videos, man, always has a fun comp, you know. Never goes for the cookie cutter. I mean, I, I'm sure he goes for the cookie cutter a lot on stream, right? Because you you have to, especially this patch, man. Jeweled Gauntlet. GG. Watch this. Nope. Archangel. I guess it's an Archangel, man. I mean, what else is it? Is it Morello? Is it ever Morello? I don't think so, man. I think we'll just go Archangel. Whatever, man. N definitely not ideal here, guys. I'll make this look easy. Okay, I'm one off Lee Sin, one off Blitzcrank, uh, I mean Malphite, and two off Vi. A little bit rough, man. The RNG isn't even that good this game. The GP was good. The Kale took a little bit long, but the GP was really high roll for sure. Uh, the Kale was like average, I guess. And then the, the, the rest is terrible. So it's not even that high roll, so we're doing really well. Oh, he's playing um, Brawler Sona Carry, but he's just going for a two star. Nice. Look at this. Look at this loss. This loss is great. This guy contesting Sona. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is, man. We definitely roll there. Where's the Vi as well? Isn't that crazy? Where's the Vi? Oh, frick! Oh, is it Frozen Tundra Lamal? No, it's Frostburn. You can't beat me, boy. I heal back up against that. Oh, my Sona does not care about Mr. Frostburn. Oh, frick, she cares about the beam. Oh, man. Triple Warmogs. The Zack, the little Zacks have 1.7k health. That is not looking good, man. Where's the Yumi guy? The Yumi guy died, huh? It's pretty based. Okay, cut and run again. 
Always cut and run, keep rolling. I mean, guys, I'll keep it a stack. I could really be using some 5% bonus damage here. I could really be using that. That is not good. This guy has Zed on the wrong corner. I mean, I think we're fine. We're just fully getting hit by this ult, though, of Sejuani here. Oh, nice. This one I killed the Yasu. Oh, but I'm getting melted here, bro. Oh, she walked. If she ults instantly, I mean, it's never a one-shot. Lots of three costs being thinned out. Uh, again, guys, like, you hit this, you're chilling. Just unlucky. <sighs> really unlucky, man. Should we put, uh, should we put Sona in the back line at this point? Don't I have a magnetic remover? I do. Is there any Sona item? No. I think I'll just go BT on uh, the guy. There's there's not a crazy amount of healing this game. There is, but like not an insane amount in this game. Yeah, there's not a crazy amount. So uh, the the GP healing is fine, right? This is ridiculous, guys. Like this is the biggest Laurel game you'll ever see. I mean, do I sell a G? Do, do I sell a do I sell a guy for it? Or do I just wait? Or do I sell a guy for it? I think I have to sell a guy for it, man. Keep it a stack. I want to stay alive. I have to sell a guy for it, man. Super sad, but we have to... 26 health. Every every single drop of health counters, uh, matters here. Now we just level up to 7, I think. We need two more Sonas. Look at the Vi tanking as 3 star. Come on, Sona, heal, 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 do the heal. Not enough damage, bro. Uh, this should be good usually. Okay, top four is good enough. With this with this bad RNG, top four is pretty good with this comp. Is this Sona guy still alive? There was a, one guy contesting Sona. But he only has a two-star Sona. And he went level nine instead. So I can still hit. I can for sure still hit. Should I backline her? We dodge Urgot. Oh, we're, getting, we're focusing Jax as well. We dodge Urgot, we dodge Sejuani. Oh, Sejuani just walks off. Honestly, this is good though. Nice, good fight. Alright, that was positioning diff. Nice. Stay alive, one more fight here. I need two Sonas, 30%. Don't think I level, I think I just roll here. I think I just roll. Because two, uh, two of these guys as well. Oh frick, I didn't mean to mute you, man, I'm sorry. I mean, I need, I need two Sonas. No one's playing Sona except for that guy, and he has three. He only has three. There's 18 Sonas. Nine of them are used. That's it. I just roll here, huh? Yeah, we got really unlucky, bro. We got really unlucky. Put the put the Titans on Vi. She does more damage than GP. Not always, though, man. Oh, nice. One more Suna. Come on, please. Once. Okay. Oh, 
Are we okay against this guy? Sidwani. Ult is fine. Come on, GP. Come on, GP. You can do it. Yes. A big fight. Okay, yeah. Frontlining the Sona is a little bit grief. Oh, the Sona guy is dying or what? Oh, he is. No, he's not, man. He's smurfing. But he only has three Sonas. It's fine. It's actually good he's killing the other guys. Because he's kind of easy to beat. Easier than others for me. Alright, come on, Sona. Oh, cut and run. The gold injection when we needed it the most. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not picking up that one gold there. That is too risky. If I pick up the Sona, I screw up the odds. Break. Maybe I should have just leveled and put the A Aegis here. Urgot does not hit me, I think. Sephir on freaking Malphite. Come on, bro. This is a win. Oh, look at him. Oh, no. The Urgot hits me. It's fine. Look at this. Look at this cow feeding me mana. Cow is feeding mana. Oh, frick. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait. She got pushed into MF ult. What is that about? Oh, she got stunned. The Sona stun. How am I winning these fights, man? Okay, so, uh, 12 to level. I have to just roll. I probably should have leveled for Aegis, right? Against this guy as well. Probably should have just leveled. A little bit silly. A little bit silly. So I don't need to uh, position like that. Oh, we're gonna wrap around? Probably not. Uh, still good though, we don't get hit by Sejuani ult. On Sona. Ah, but the GP, uh, the Gangplank is getting focused. Come on, Gangplank, ult, 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 heal a little bit. Heal a little bit. One more, yes! Oh, big. Gangplank carried. I don't think this fiddle is gonna do enough. Yeah, nice, good job. What? Fiddle is so broken, huh? Oh man. One star fiddle just one tap my team at the end. Just full one tap. 2k damage in a millisecond. Didn't do anything and then boom, 2k damage. One star fiddle. Oh well, we'll take it. Third is good. Third is still fine, man. I don't even know how I won the last couple fights. I mean, not hitting Sona 3. Guys, this game was super low roll, man. The, the Vi took way too long. No one was playing it. The Lee Sin took way too long. Nobody was playing it. The Kale took a little bit too long. The, the Gangplank was lucky, but... I mean, uh, you know, I, I only played the comp because I already had a lot of Gangplank. So I played according to the situation. But anyway, we'll take it. Super fun. Probably going to be one of my new main comps, man. It's just so fun always taking the gold injection and just keep going with the rerolls subscribe notification bell if you enjoy these tft videos also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the youtube algorithm so i can get some more views and i'll see you next time peace